Welcome to Bed Crime Stories Podcast. I'm your host, T. To my loyal bed crimers, so nice to have you here. To anyone new to the channel, a special warm welcome. Before I get started, let me just ask that if after listening to this episode, you find you enjoyed it or learned something, please hit that like button. It's a free way you can help me. Now let's dig in. Hi, everybody. I want to read you some excerpts from an article in the Daily Mail today, and it is about a possible stalker situation in the case of the four students in Idaho. Here we go. The Moscow Police Department said it had received hundreds of pieces of information that suggested one of the victims Kaylee Gonsalves had a stalker. Investigators have not been able to verify any of these tips. Now, a criminal profiler has also weighed in on the crime. He is an ex-FBI agent, and he is suggesting that the perpetrator was sloppy and was likely a young man. The agent said he believed the perpetrator either knew one or more of the residents and was stalking them. This is a former FBI profiler and behavioral analysis expert, and his name is Jim Clementi. He hypothesized to Fox News Digital, and I quote, this is probably more of a compulsive kind of person that would put him at a younger age and maybe in the age group or just above the victims, end quote. Clementi also called the perpetrator sloppy and not particularly sophisticated, criminally sophisticated, or forensically sophisticated. Adding to his theory, Clementi said, He harmed four different people this way. He didn't just sort of blanch and run after the first one. Clementi is also saying that he believes the perpetrator's decision to commit such a brazen crime meant that he likely had a relationship with one or more of the victims. He entered the home in the middle of the night with six people at the residence. According to Clementi, this makes it a high-risk crime. Unless he knew one or more of the residents, this was likely not a random location. Clementi said, and I quote, Now, that could be because he has a relationship or a past relationship with one or more of them, or it could be that he's been stalking one or more of them, end quote. Clementi also said that entering the occupied home during the night meant that the killer knew the victim's routines. The profiler also explained that he believed this could not be a random crime because the perpetrator is risking entering a home where an occupant could have a weapon, or where multiple residents could confront him. According to Clementi, this means the perpetrator had to know their routine, when they all went to bed, and when they would wake up. Now this theory, and this idea that it's a young person known to the victims, is also something that Kaylee Gonsalves's mother stated in an interview yesterday. She has a gut feeling that whoever did this knew the girls. Until the next time, I'm Bed Crime Stories.